There is so much to talk about when it comes to the Year of the Sword. This album is 18 tracks, two skits, and if you look in here, right, I mean just look at that. If you flip it for a bonus disc, you got nine tracks, including Lex the Hexmaster's track which it's probably one of my favorites even off of Beyond Redemption which I'm glad they added on to this it's uh, the track Beast I love it um, there's a couple of songs that are on here that have not been released yet it's a hold up from Lars which is probably my favorite off of the bonus disc it's, it's, an, it's an interesting way that they introduce the songs because one of the things that I noticed that they did is they did a like you know, uh, boondocks. Like it'd be a man's voice, and then it's, and then it'd like warp a little bit, like make that like electric sound, and then it would be a woman's voice in like like a very like uh, electronic tone, like it, like an automated system. Definitely sticking to its whole premise of being in an arcade, which I absolutely loved, and the songs just stick to that so well when you listen to the way it sounds on top of everything else with the beats. It's phenomenal. The lyrics, on the other hand, really, really go way out of fucking any boundaries you've seen or heard. It, it blows my mind. Uh, my two favorite tracks, without a doubt, was... Um, oh, see, this is where I have the hard part. Like, there's so many. And, and the thing is, with, these, with this album, it's not even just like the groups that are doing the work together. Like, you'd get Jamie Madrox working with one of the guys with Gorilla Voltage working with, you know, King Gordy. It's, it's, so it wouldn't be just like all the groups like doing tracks, like all the people from the groups would do tracks and it's, it's amazing. And everyone gives it their like, their best on that beat, that sound, that chord. And when I mean chord, I'm telling you, there is guitar on this shit. Like it is fucking, this album is mind blowing with how much they did with it, how, how diverse it was going throughout it's it's insane to talk about so i gotta say my first one my my top one track 16 don't tell me hands down my favorite and that features twisted king gordy and boondocks that was the song that i got for free when i did my uh my uh, thanksgiving order for black friday so that was the shit i got the, the lars t-shirt so, just to give you guys another glimpse of this, you've got the track listing here, and then you've got the bonus, the bonus tracks are listed on the disc itself. And then on the back you of course have the tracks here and here. So just to, let's, let's go through this, it'll be a lot easier for you to understand. Test of Time, which is the intro, which is a skit. Heads will roll. You've got, sorry, it's really hard to read this print. You've got Gorilla Voltage and Jamie Madrox. Track three, turn it up. You've got Jamie Madrox, Blazy Dead Homie, Lex the Hex Master. And then you've got, uh, with a, with a, I'm sorry, this, the, the hard part with me was like the print because it's digitalized print. So on some of it, it's hard to read on the booklet and then easier to read on this. So that's an interesting setup. Um, yeah, Bones Dub. Like I said, harder on the booklet, easier on here. Just one minor thing that I noticed. Maybe my eyes are going, who knows. Um, then you've got Fucked, which is uh, ROC, Boondocks, and Gorilla Voltage. Then you've got Level Up, which is the which is a skit. And then you've got Their Fault, which is uh, Jamie Madrox and Young Wicked. Produced by Young Wicked. So it's not even like the same person produced the songs. That blows my mind. And then you've got uh, Ignite, ROC, Mr. Gray, Monoxide, Blazy Dead Homie, and King Gordy, produced by the ROC and Fritz. It's the shit. Ignite is definitely, again, one of my top songs. Uh, Cut Em Up, Track 8, Young Wicked and Twisted. And produced by Young Wicked. See, that's... that's Every artist shines on this album. Every artist shines on this album. And it's huge the way they do that. 
So Lights Out, my one of my top tracks. Uh, Twisted Gmoski and Mr. Gray. Holy shit is that track dope. And it's produced by Seven. Uh, Harassment, which is the second skit. And then you've got Don't Fuck With Us, which I'm sure we've all heard. Twisted, the, R the ROC, Lex the Hexmaster, and uh, Clockwork, produced by Seven. Twelve, Better Than Before. Twisted, Blazy Dead Homie, Lex the Hexmaster, Gmo Ski, and Axe Murder Boys, produced by Young Wicked. That shit's amazing. And Young Wicked puts it out lyrically, instrumentally, the way he had produced the, uh, the tracks, the way Seven produced the tracks, the way everybody produced these tracks is just absolutely insane. And if that's not enough for you, there is more tracks to go through. Trust me, it's a lot. Uh, Flicks and Chill, uh, Young Wicked, Clockwork, Blazy Dead Homie, and Twisted. Another great, like, you know, one of those songs like attributes to modern times, which is great. I love how they incorporate that in a lot of the music and mock it. I think it's interesting. Uh, you've got Get High, which of course has Lars on it, because you can't have a song called Get High without uh, Bizarre and King Gordy. You just can't. Uh, Young Wicked, Mr. Grey, Twisted, Blaze Dead, Homie, Bones Dub, and of course The Last American Rock Stars. 15, Galaxy, Gmo Ski, King Gordy, and Jamie Madrox. Hilarious. Uh, Don't Tell Me, again, my top pick. Uh, Twisted, King Gordy, and Boondocks. Uh, summon the Magic Ninja, which is the third and final skit, and then you've got BNU. This track has everybody from the roster. Holy shit! You're talking about six minutes. It's it's an insane track, and it's everybody just doing their thing and giving it their all, a hundred and ten percent throughout the entire album from start to finish and it ends with B N U. You figure out what the B N U is. And it says, did you unplug it? Which is an outro and also a skit. And then that cuts into the bonus disc, which is kind of like when you're playing pinball and you get that bonus ball. So I liked how they stayed close to that. So if those tracks aren't enough for you, check out the album artwork. Press start, right? That's just fucking amazing to me. Like, just the artwork, like, I mean, the detail, the, the cartoon of it, and the fact that it makes you not only just, like, think of, like, um, you know, those, those games, like, you know, Pac-Man, shit like that, but fucking, um, you know, pinball, shit like that. Like, it stays true to, like, the whole arcade feel. And the entire album is just absolutely insane. Whoever came up with that idea for it being like the Year of the Sword being like set in an arcade was a genius. It's, it's the album that definitely was a nod to the fans of like everything we have done this year summed up. But we're not going to just do a compilation album of all the best hits from 2017. We're going to give you new shit, unreleased shit from this album with all the artists mingling with each other, working with each other, slaughtering the production, just fucking mind blowing sound and the lyricism. Again, my two favorite tracks, it was hard to pick. It was hard to pick, but I had to do it. Lights Out and Don't Tell Me. Best tracks. And again, everybody fucking killed this album. But again, my top two. Um, it's, it's, you can listen to it all the way through so you're talking about like 20 some odd tracks and I got this for I think it was 20 bucks with my signed poster which is up on that wall signed by Monoxide Child and the ROC. This album is a promise that 2017 was in fact the year of the sword and we're just getting warmed up. It's a five star album with that mix and mingles with everything. I, I mean, this is probably the album that I'm going to listen to in about a week. And I'm going to be like, damn, I really like this song. I'm going to go back and I'm going to be like, fuck, I, I should have said this in the review. Because there's so much to it. You give it a listen three, four, five, six times in a day. And then like later on, you're going to show it to your friends. Like Your friends are going to catch on to this shit. If your friends aren't even familiar with this music... They're gonna love these this music. It's got it's got that like that that slow like you know hip hop like the young wicked that we heard 
on his album this year. He brought that with Jamie Madrox. And that song that he brought at one was Their Fault. So those two did a fucking Young Wicked track that was true to his album that had come out this year. It's beautiful. And again, like on the bonus, easily, hands down, my favorite was It's a Hold Up next to Chaos Incarnate. Those were my two favorites. And the reason why I didn't choose uh, Lex the Hexmasters is because I have it on CD. So I already heard that one. I was glad they added it onto this, though, for sure. But those two, holy shit. And just that title alone, Chaos Incarnate. And it's a hold up. Two songs, they're my absolute favorites. And fucking, like I said, these guys nailed it. Everyone from Magic Ninja Entertainment gave it their all on this album. And you can hear it. You can just tell by looking at it. It's, it's an incredible album. I, there's not much more I can say on it. But definitely check this out. Have your friends listen to it. Send them this way and tell them there's going to be at least one song you're going to dig on this. It's that various. It's that intense. It's got the guitar. It's got instrumental. It's got production on beats that you've never heard before that will blow your mind. It'll take you by surprise. So that is my review of The Year of the Sword. And my name is Sid Jones. And as always, fuck what you think.